Right, I've got a question for you. Now, with all these breweries popping up now, you know, like um, your Beaver Town, um, Cloudwater, um, Northern Monk even, you know, they're popping up and they're, they're kind of like um, attracting the younger drinker, which is all well and good, you know, it's something I support. Um, do you think, though, that the beer culture in this country is starting to split down the middle, as in terms of... Years ago, I thought that, you know, people who drank real ale, as we used to call it, were old men smoking pipes in big, kind of like um, dodgy sweaters, usually over 50 years old. <laughs> and I suppose to a degree, I think that some people who, who don't really know much about beer see that. But now, it feels like with all these, you know, great brewers like Beaver Town and Cloudwater, you know, and Brewdog, kind of like um, coming to the fore now, you've got the other beers, which is associated with, some people might associate with the old guy, with the pipe, with the woolly sweater in the corner of the pub. If you know what I mean. So, I've got a couple of beers I'm going to review, um, which some people, well, which I'm quite concerned about in the degree that, you know, it's great having all these young craft beers and all these younger brewers, which is fantastic, but it makes me think that in about 20 years' time, whether or not, because of that generation, who used to drink, you know, you know, that old speckled hens and that, whether or not, you know, where speckled hen will be in 20 years time, if you know what I mean. So, um, the first beer I'm going to, well, the beers I'm going to do are from the hen family, Moreland, and, you know, what people might associate with the older, um, the older statesman, if you know what I mean, the elder statesman. Um, of the beer fraternity, if you know what I mean. So the first beer I'm gonna do is actually a, a little, a little flight, a little favourite of mine, really, and it is Moreland's Old Golden Hen, lovely jubbly boys and girls, coming in at 4.1% ABV, and if you notice, they put refreshing craft beer on the bottom. I, I can't remember that being there, because it is that what made me think, you know the terms real ale and craft beer. For me, beer is beer, it doesn't matter if it's real ale, which you think of old men, craft beer, when you think of, you know, young whippersnappers, like myself. <laughs> so yeah, so if you notice that, it's on there. So there's the back side. 4.1% ABV and it's got um it's got a bit of a narrative here. It says old golden hen captures a celestial ray of sunshine in the form of a rare and very special Tasmanian hop called the Galaxy. The result is a triumph for its sheer powers of refreshment. Um the Galaxy Hop is you know sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Galaxy Hop. Um I had this on draft a while back. Well, when I first when it first came out, and it was it was a cracking pint it was, and I had it in the can as well, and I quite enjoyed it. I haven't had it you know from the bottle for a while, so let's crack it open. Like you do, a little bit of carbon, and already getting a real mango and melon there. More melon, and it smells fresh. It smells summery. It smells something. Uh, reminds me of tea on the lawn. <laughs> but you're not beer on the lawn, should I say? Croquet. <laughs> it reminds me of that. 
So let's pour out like you do. And of course she has come out golden. It would be a bit of a bummer if it came out any other colour, wouldn't it really? So let's give her a good old swell, like you do. And you know, it's still got that melon, kind of like a hint of herb there, hint of grass there. It's got that, you know, nice little fresh note to it. And um, I just noticed on the back it says refreshing craft beer. <laughs> this term of craft beer and real ale, you know, why don't they just call it beer? It doesn't matter what it is, does it really? So I'm topping her up now. As you can see, beautiful coloured gold. Plenty of carbonation there. You can see me ugly old mug through it. And I'm going to go in. So cheers. These, this is to the old boy in the pub with the pipe. And the, you know, woolly jumper. It's not, yeah, it's nice. Real easy drinking. Nice hints of melon. Not too bitter, which is nice. I do I sometimes, you know, very, you know, it's what is it? It's, it's so easy drinking golden hen, um, and it's just an, just as enjoyable as as um, when I first had it. Um, you could definitely kind of like hammer this all day. I mean, I, I, I could I could drink it all day. I really could. Um, Fresh, subtle melons there. Um, there's a fresh, subtle kind of like a mango coming through on the back end. Tiny hint of bitterness there with maybe a um, hint of grass coming through. And it, it, it does, it does taste wonderful. Oh, not. It, it tastes, yeah, it, is, it does taste wonderful. It is, it's a nice beer. Nice beer to spend a summer's day supping. And you can't beat that at this time of year. So I'm going to go in for one more time. One more for the road, as I say. Cracker. I like that. Nice, nice beer. It is. I don't care what the beer snobs say about Moorland and the old hens and that, um, but I like them anyway. And you know, anyway, old golden hen, boys and girls, 4.1 percent. Highly recommend this one if you want an easy drinking beer. Forget what people say about clear bottles. I'm not a believer in that. You should look after your beers and not leave them in the sun. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I shall see you boys and girls on my next one. So cheers.